Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Amen. And the glory forever. Yes, sir. Unjan Nabiangos. Amen. 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 Gulungulu Uganya Natum Sagati, are you safe? Amen. Ziambonga Kakulungulungulu. Can we start? Amen. Amen. As Bafu said, the Balale Libel Pimple El Temba, the voice of hope. Gupina Gupi Lapokona, Ubamba Kona, Lipimbo Lami. My name is Apostle Sipo Makakula, and once again, we thank God, Goguguti, Uganye Nazi. This is our greatest time. Angfuni mlalelu wa mekaya, ukaba ngo guguti, tikati le tileti mati, malapo kona gunge ndegi luto. I have to say to you, even during a desert time, there is still a possibility of success. Even during a desert time, there is still a possibility for success. It will always depend on who is the person that is living within those times. Glory to God. I have to say to you, Uma Ungaya a desert, you will see go go tiguna titasa, let iguati go go pila gangono. There are trees, there are also plants, let's teach as human beings, especially in Africa, titasa, tima plants, la fana na bokoti. Uh, Kotini is one of the plants that is able to live during abundance and also during a scarce moment. There is also lots of trees that we live with, Boalo, all of those different trees. You can learn from those trees. There is time of abundance. There is also time in winter. But winter doesn't mean to say everything is over. Glory to God. Then, therefore, last week I remember, I said, you need to be able to adopt a flexibility. There is this lifestyle that is going to help you to adapt within every given moment. As a human being, in your approach to life, you need to be able to be dynamic. Every situation that you are presented with, you must be able, number one, to live. Number two, to make a success. Praise God. So as a human being, this moment is telling us, Gogoguzi, how much do we have insight that can allow us to live successfully even on the outside? I have to also say to you, surely the word of God teaches us, Gogutsi, there is lots of capabilities that we can learn from, especially from lots of natural things, different animals, different plants, because all these different things that God created right next to us, they are a lesson to us. So I want to ask you, Namusha and Zambama, are you going to perish in this season or you are going to rethink and also be able to make a success? I'm going to ask again, are you going to perish in this season or you are going to readapt and be able to adapt new ways of living so that you can be able to forge a way forward the expectation from god my dear listener to you is not that you are gonna drown in this moment the bible teaches me you shall walk through fire but you shall not be bent Glory to God. And it says, you shall walk through rivers, but you shall not drown. I want us to look into these two things that the Bible is teaching us. Number one, my dear listener at home. Goguzi, umangabe utawati goguzi, Uben a success through water. You must be able to keep the water outside. 
That is the first thing that you must understand. Keep the water outside of your life. That is to say, once you start to take the external water to your inside, therefore you have put into you poison that is going to drown you. So I want to ask you, as things are happening around us, what is it that you are taking into your core, into your inner heart? Glory to God. Because if you are going to be a success, my dear listener, it's important for you, number one, to keep external situations outside. Keep external situations outside. If you take what is supposed to be outside to you, it will create panic. It will create fear. You will start to be self-detrimental. Glory to God. So what is it that the devil is trying to accomplish in our time? The devil is trying to make you to become a weapon that is going to destroy itself. Praise God. The devil is trying to make you to be self-destructive. You will destroy yourself career-wise. You will destroy yourself health-wise. You will destroy yourself socially. If you are going to take what's outside to, to defile what is inside. But what is the expectation, apostle? The expectation is this. Gogudi, you will be strong inside so that you use what is inside to heal your outside situation. Praise the name of Jesus. So heal your outside situation using what is inside you. Remember when the Bible teaches us in Romans chapter 8 verses 11, it says, if the spirit of God that raised Christ Jesus from the dead be living in you, he shall revive your mortal bodies. I want to present to you this night, God made you with powerful capabilities. If you can be able, number one, to depend and rely on what God has deposited inside you. A man naturally, even without God, a man's mind is all powerful. It is able to produce regeneration. It is able to speak life into the systems of a human being because when God made man, he made him to be complete and he was war. Glory to God. So the other thing that I said is, you shall go through fire, but you shall not be burnt. Praise God. But it is possible after God has said you shall not be burnt, that you find a person burnt in the fire. So it will always depend now on the one that is journeying through the fire. If you remain and maintain a position within the environment where God spoke to you from, therefore any situation coming to you, it is not going to drown you. It is not going to burn you because you are still maintaining your position in God. Glory to God. What does that mean? I want to say to you, you are born even to live and succeed within this generation. COVID-19 itself is not here to kill you. COVID-19 is not here neither to kill your business. It is not here to kill you even financially. I want you to be present to this. I want to make an example, my dear listener. Right now, and say you are struggling in any particular way. If you will learn to draw from within you, you will be able to heal your outside situation. That is the first thing I wanted to register with you tonight. What are your strengths? What are your capabilities? How deep are you in thinking? How wide is your scope? How much do you understand of life and God? The Bible teaches us that there's the greatness of the mystery of godliness towards man. Glory to God. Godliness in man is when God deposits his life and his nature into a mere man just like you and I. And I want to ask you today, do you think God is stressing in heaven as we are in this situation today? No, he isn't. So why are you stressing as well? Why are you stressing? 
Can't you be able to know that the Lord your God is your maker? He has got good plans for you. Even during this season, the raging waters of the oceans shall not drown you. I need you tonight to have faith not only in God, but also in your nature, in who you are, in how God has created you to be. You have been fashioned in a fearful and wonderful made. Hallelujah. You have been wonderfully made by God. So why must you be afraid of the raging seas around you? Why must you be afraid? I need you to come with me as we navigate it through a few points this evening. Just a few points. I want us to re-examine the story of Joseph in the place Egypt. Number one, Joseph is in Egypt as a foreigner, actually as a slave, one that was sold by his brothers into Egypt. And then he had a vision. The vision that he heard was that one day he will be a ruler and be above many people. And I want to ask you today, what vision do you have? Because in some of the times, what will keep you alive in this time? It is not doctors. It is not many things, but your vision, your purpose for life. If your purpose can be bigger than the situation that we are going through, I guarantee you this evening, you shall have a success because purpose is divine. It is powerful. And it is able to keep a person because purpose is a spiritual destiny that has been locked within a person. That is why the Bible says, above it all, guard your heart because it is the source of life. Glory to God. So it doesn't matter what is in the in outside. If you can be able to maintain what is inside you, it will give you guarantee that you will reach the destiny. Joseph was sold. He suffered many things, but he never gave up in his vision. You can be suffering from corona right even now. Your business can be struggling. You can be fired from work already. What will make means for you to survive and come back and float up above everything, it is your vision. What is the vision that you have even in this evening? Because your vision is what will carry you. It is, a, it, it is like an ark, you know. In vision, it is inside you, but it, is, it, can, it has got the capability to carry you above every tide of life because it becomes the reason why you breathe here on earth. Glory to God. It doesn't matter the jail you might be in right now. But I want to say to you, if you have a vision, the vision will keep you alive. Praise God. Number two, the Lord wants to give you an opportunity. During your, 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 your slavery, during your captivity, the Lord will make you to encounter an opportunity. It might be through people. It might be through a certain situation. It might be through friends. I need you to be ready any moment that the Lord will use your gift. He will use your talents so that you can be able to interpret other people's visions so that your vision can come alive. Praise the name of Jesus. Why do you, do you have to interpret other people's vision so that your vision can be realized? It is because unless your vision has got market, it shall not be able to strive. Praise God. If you cannot be needed by Pharaoh, you cannot be a prime minister. Which means to say, the Lord will create a need at the magnitude of your vision. So that whosoever needs you has got the key that you need for your next level in life. That means to say, you need to keep your intelligence alive. You need to keep your gifting alive. You need to keep your, 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 your inner muscles alive. Because any time from now, you can be called into higher places. Where your vision is not only going to keep you, but it's going to open doors for you. The very doors that you have been in need of. 
I have to say to you, my dear listener, during Corona, there are doors. During Corona, there are opportunities. During Corona, there are windows of privileges. It, it, it is a question of your preparedness to lay a hold of any privilege that the Lord God will give into you. Praise the name of Jesus. Because remember, my dear listener, this thing is about kingdom influence. It's about kingdom impact. Praise the name of Jesus. If you are not going to look for opportunities in this desert to thrive and be a success, you might be in a danger of drowning. Praise God. I don't care how much you have been struggling before this time. I have to say to you, there are trees that cannot live well during abundance, but they will thrive during the time of a desert life. So I want to ask you today, maybe you are like the people that have been struggling all along. Is it not that you have got the intelligence for this season? Someone else says, I have been working. Maybe this is your season to lift your life higher. But it needs you to think. It needs you to apply yourself. It needs you to trust in the Lord your God. It needs for you never to panic about anything that is happening outside. I need for you to remember that the Bible teaches us that the righteous man, will always be bold as a liar. Only the evil will be running without the person chasing them. There are person people that are already hiding because of the situation around us. Nay, my dear listener, it's time for you to attack. It's time for you to have an impact. It's time for you to have an influence. It will only call for you to summon your inner strength. Glory to the name of Jesus. As I am about to close off tonight, I want us to remember Joshua chapter 1 verse 8. The book of the law shall not depart out of your mouth. You shall meditate therein. Meaning to say, have a base, have a constitution that will drive you. Because if you are going to succeed, you are not going to succeed because of emotions. You must have policies that drives your life. Yet policy that must drive your life, it must be the word of God. Because it is true and it has been tested. Glory to God. It has got a catering even for such a season. Glory to King Jesus. I want to ask you this evening. What informs your wisdom? What informs every step that you are taking in this life? What orders you're coming in and you're going out. Because the word of God has got great depth. And it has got greater height. It's got a greater length and a width. You can be able to live and make a success out of it. Glory to God. So I want to say to you tonight, there is also a call from the Lord. That the angel of God, like he came during the time of Joshua. He says, I have come as the captain of the armies of God. So will you be able to yield your life to the leadership of the Holy Spirit? In this time, my dear listener, and say, Holy Spirit of God, lead me into the paths of righteousness. Lead me into the path of victory. I cannot do it by myself. The Bible says we have got such an unction within us because of the man holy spirit and he is here to teach us and lead us into victory if there is a time where you can learn to yield to the speaking of the holy spirit it is now i want to remind you my dear listener where the bible says trust in the lord with all your might and it says lean not in your own understanding glory to god then it continues to say commit all your ways unto the lord for he shall make them prosperous glory to god hallelujah if there's anything i can say to you today is that you can learn to pack your wisdom adopt the wisdom of god if we can learn to be gentle 
like a dove and learn to be childlike because that's what the Bible teaches us. It says we must learn to be like a child. What is a child? A child is someone who never worries even when they say there's no food at home because he relies on the presence of the parents. I need you to learn to rely on the presence of God so that you can realize your victory. Glory to God. Our victory is not in our own abilities. I'm not saying be lazy, but I'm saying leaning not in your own understanding. Do not stress about things that you do not have control over. The Bible says, seek ye first the kingdom of heaven and all its righteousness. Then all these things will be added unto you. Why are you worried? Why are you worried, my dear listener? Why are you worried about things that are far away from you? If the Bible can teach you tonight, go to Nakabang or Katatege about anything. It can be to think about everything good, everything praiseworthy, everything perfect, everything noble, everything marvelous. Glory to God. Because there is what we call it the law of attraction. If you spend your effort thinking about the negative, that is what you are going to produce. If you think you are going to die, what you are scared of is what is going to lay a hold of you. Glory to God. But people that are going to defile all the laws of these COVID laws, it is the people who are stronger in their mind. Glory to God. I don't know how I can tell you how powerful your mind is. How powerful you have this tool. This is the time where you've got to learn to renew it with the word of God so that it can start to work for you and push you to the direction of God. And you shall produce after the nature of God. Glory to Jesus. I am expecting you to be a winner by the end of this season. I am expecting your business to be still alive. I expect your family to be still alive. I expect your inner muscle to start working for you. And I expect people who are panicking around you to start having safety when they come to you. Why? It is because you are an embassy of heaven. You are an embassy of heaven. If people are drowning, you are the hope of this world. Glory to God. Jesus says, you are the light of the world. He says, you are the salt of this world. What does that mean? It means where you are, people must see the brightness of your light. People must actually enjoy. They must enjoy your saltiness. You cannot cry and lament like everybody is crying. You have hope in Christ Jesus. The Bible says, you are of God, little children. And it says, you have overcome the evil one. Then it continues to say, for greater is he who is in you than the devil that is in the world. God, John continues to say, I, read, I write to you, young children, for you have power. Glory to God. And it says, I write to you, you men, for you have understanding. Glory to God. We are the children of light. We are not in the dark. We have got strength from our inside and we rely on the heavenly call. Glory to King Jesus. Right where you are tonight, maybe you've got a sick relative. I want us to pray together. It doesn't matter you might be lying and I see you. My God is a miracle working God. My God is an all able God. He has never failed me. He will not fail you tonight. Maybe your situation at home is getting from where from bad to worse. I want to say to you, hold on, my dear listener. Do not kill yourself. Do not kill yourself. Naguwe baba, gungendega kogutz, aukone gushangani sa anything. Uguze gube negusha ekaya. Hold on. Hold on. Help is on the way. My Jesus is coming for you in the name of Jesus Christ. As I'm about to pray tonight, I don't know what is troubling you. But all that I wanted you to be present to is that you've got strength inside. Draw from inside. If you feel like you are weak, if you feel like you are being hopeless, draw strength from God. Let the weak say I am strong. And let the poor 
Say, I am rich because of what the Lord has done in us. Glory to the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Are you feeling weak? Are you sick? Is your faith being tested? Jesus is the restorer of every heart. Jesus is the restorer of every faint-heartedness. Jesus is the strengthener of every feeble knee. And Jesus is the solution where there is none. He calls himself the way, the truth, and the life. If you can come to him, all those who are heavily laden and burdened, you can come to my Jesus. He will lift your burden and he will give you hope. He will give you joy. He has strength for the weary. And he has joy for the weak. If you feel like you are shattered, he is the greatest potter. He can put your life back together. If you feel like your feet are slippering on a rock, I want you to know that you, are called, you can call on him and say, Jesus, son of David, save me tonight. And he will hear you right where you are. You might be speaking to me, it's a pushback reach. You can be hearing me, Usain Komasi. You can be hearing me now, you are in a hospital. I want you to call on him tonight and say, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. As he goes past the wavelengths, I want you to know that he is passing by for the sake of your life. You might not be drowning. You are saying, Lord, put me on a rock higher than I. I need you to know that he is closer. Actually, where you are, the Spirit of God is right there. If you can start praying right where you are, in the mighty name of Jesus, the Lord is on standby to hear your prayer and be able to strengthen you. Don't rely on anything. He is the greatest man that you can call upon in this season. I am praying in the name of Jesus. Libra Gabada Shabbat. In the mighty name of Jesus. My dear listener, where you are, radio yakonamusha. Lift up your hand. I want you to say it in your heart. Say it in your heart, but be loud enough to hear yourself. Because God is going past. He wants to save you. In the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus. I pray. I pray for this one miracle that is a defining moment for my dear listener's life. If there is anyone that is due to succeed, anyone due for miracle tonight, it is this my listener who is at the ear short of my voice. I pray to the merciful God, be merciful to the listener. It is happening, my dear listener, right now. I release the angels of God to make you to drink from the cup of your miracle in the mighty name of Jesus. I therefore charge you, receive your miracle tonight in the name of Jesus. Be healed, be restored. Financially, be restored. Socially, be restored. In Jesus' matchless name, it is I, the apostle of the Lord, and I'm out of here. May the Lord God bless you. We're going to meet on Sunday morning half past nine until 10. Jesus is Lord. You are winning and you are not drowning. In Jesus' name, amen and amen.